Hello, this is Lopo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. For now, I just, like, I don't even know. I went to YouTube and I saw that there was a release for the gameplay trailer for Lydia. And I just thought, okay, you know what? Let me just go to Streamlabs. Let me start recording and then see exactly what the video is about and see what we're going to be seeing in this gameplay trailer. I hope that there's something unique about her kit because if it's more of the same from Tekken 7, then... I don't see why bo why they bother to make her a DLC character, but who knows? I may be surprised. So, prendame, Bandai Namco. Please give me something good to see. Let me lower this down too, because I don't want it to be too damn loud. Okay, they're using the new stage for Lydia. I hope she's cool. Get ready for the, next the warrior prime minister. New I lowered the, the audio a little bit more. The BGM is a little nice. It's not too bad. Okay. Okay, cool. He still has her stances. Cool. A Lydia and Jen crossover? Oh, this is pretty cool. Wait, she has a parry in a stance? What? Don't tell me she's like Leroy now. Okay, cool E smash. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was cool! Oh, that was lit! Oh, that was so cool! Oh, what is this? What? Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know what to say about the videos. Like, I feel like it might have been too, uh, you know, loud, the audio, but I hope that it wasn't too loud. All right, so for what we saw, she has a lot of, like, mixed in parry tools in her stances. And you can see that they emphasize a lot about her stance in her kit. She still has her evasiveness in some of her stances, which is pretty cool. It's like a built-in Kempo almost. Like right there, she can low parry from a stance and from also from highs as well, it seems. That's pretty cool, but I did I don't even I don't even remember if she had those things in Tekken 7. Here you see more, like you even see like something like might look like a guard break. And in Heat Stay, she has this that was so cool, too. And and this is new. I don't think there's characters that can do something like that, where they essentially have the ability to go into, like, a hit grab that still continues right afterwards into a stance. She might be the first one to do this. You see, she does this. She captures the Reyna doing her... Power crush. He goes into a hit grab, but he goes into a stance. 
I'm guessing that's unique only to her when she's in heat state. And you can see that she still has like the capabilities to even like parry moves while in stance. So she's like Leroy in, in that way. She still has a lot of the unique traits that she still has in Tekken 7 as well. Then we see the heat dash into this. Okay, pretty cool. Then another hit grab. That was so lit. And then from here, we see like her rage art it seems to be encompassing a lot of kata, like karate style. That's pretty cool. I love that. I think that she might be one of the mains that I'll be picking up on Tekken 8 for sure. She's looking to be very cool. I like her style. And then this gives like more lore, like more flavor to her design that she's into sweets. I like that. So besides that, I think that what we're seeing now is pretty interesting. I would have thought that it would have been boring and wouldn't have really showcased anything new from Lydia, like maybe the same old things that she had in Tekken 7 and then maybe adding like a few new things, like maybe a new move here and there. And there's probably were a few new moves into the kit, but because I didn't really see it, I felt that, you know, since I don't really am all that familiar with Lydia's combat in Tekken 7, she still feels new to me. So there's probably a few things in her kit that I have not really noticed that are new to me. So Lydia names would probably, you know, they may know whether or not that she has gained anything new. But what one thing I do know is that when it comes to her stances, when she never she transitions into different kata stances, right? When she's doing her karate, I don't remember her having any parry functionalities when it comes to her style of using her stances. That's unique to me. I have not seen that in Tekken 7, at least not that I know of. So this is very new to me that she can now parry like a, like if she's like Leroy. So I'm very into her kit. I like her karate. I, I like it a whole lot. I'm most definitely going to be picking her up when she comes out during the summer. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how well she'll be, you'll be playing. But seeing from the trailer, she sings strong. So without further ado, I hope you guys liked the video. I know this is more of a reaction type of video. I don't really have much to give you guys in terms of the analysis. So I hope that, you know, you enjoyed what you watched. Give the video a like. Dislike if you want to. Subscribe to see more of my shit. Hit the notification bells if you want to know when another video will be popping up from my channel. And please stay tuned for more. See you.